going on ladies and gents, Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com and today's video is going to be a short little video about one of my addictions. I don't have many, but I do have one and that is caffeine. I feel like if we're being honest with each other, a lot of us are probably addicted to caffeine. We all like our morning cup of coffee. All y'all know I'm addicted to Starbucks. I drink way too much coffee and you know it, I'm guilty as charged. However, what am I going to do about that? Let's talk about it. First, let's talk about the problem. So. How much caffeine do I consume in a day? I didn't really know until I crunched the numbers and it scared me. So I wake up, 3 o'clock in the morning, I have my vitamins and minerals. With those vitamins and minerals, I have one of these. This is a 200 milligram caffeine tablet. Now, 200 milligrams of caffeine, that's not too bad. I have that with my vitamins and minerals. Well, that's not too bad, Robert. What else do you have? Let me tell you. Start making coffee after that. And I have Death Wish coffee that focuses. Now you know there's some serious caffeine in your coffee when it's got a warning label on back. With the text, the world's strongest coffee. Now I don't know if that's true or not, but I did some Googling, and Google is always right. So apparently one cup of Death Wish coffee has 600 milligrams of caffeine. I have three cups. So, right now we're at about 2,000 from the, the coffee. Actually, no, we're at 200 from the caffeine pill, plus three cups of coffee at 600 milligrams each. That puts us at twenty or 2,000 milligrams of caffeine for the day already. It hadn't, hadn't even been 4 o'clock yet. All right, so that's not good. Actually, it's probably about 5 o'clock in the morning by now. Then I come back from making my coffee, drinking my coffee, and going on a quick little ride and starting the day with Crystal. Well, it's time to work out now. So what do you do when you work out? You have a pre-workout. That makes sense, right? So, that's my pre-workout. I actually really do like this pre-workout. I don't get any crazy bad adverse after effects at all. But I have two scoops of this. So if you can read this, I don't know if that's going to focus. But two scoops of Rari Nutrition contains 350 milligrams of caffeine. So... You plug that in, right now I'm at 2,350 milligrams of caffeine. But that's not all. I've been drinking some of these lately. Mio Energy. So I have my, my cup of crushed Sonic Ice as a filler. It's kind of like a zero calorie snow cone. I'll put a little bit of that in there. And they, they have non-energy stimulating, no caffeine Mio's. But for some reason, the ones with caffeine just taste better. So I have... Some of this in my water. And these don't last too long when you're just squirting it in ice. So I probably have like, there's 18 servings in here. Each serving is 60 milligrams per squeeze. So I probably have like six servings worth per ice cup of ice. Uh, so that would be another quite a bit. We're looking at about 2,710 milligrams of caffeine. Plus... I have an afternoon coffee. So let's just round it out to an even 3,000 milligrams of caffeine a day. There's my math, not counting that fourth afternoon coffee. So I think it's fair to say I'm probably consuming around 3,000 milligrams of caffeine a day. That's not good. And by honestly, by the end, by the end of the day, by the afternoon, by midday, like, I can have that fourth cup of coffee and I don't even feel anything from it because my body's so cracked out on caffeine, it's not going to have an effect. Now, let's talk about this for a second here. That is probably more than most people's average consumption of caffeine. I don't drink energy drinks. I've only recently started drinking the Mio's with caffeine. But I, don't, I do drink a lot of caffeine, y'all. And if you stop and count your caffeine intake, chances are you probably do too. When you count in the coffee you're consuming, you count in the Bang energy drinks, the Rain energy drinks, the Monster energy drinks that a lot of you caffeine fiends use throughout the day, and you take into consideration the pre-workout if you're using it, you're probably consuming a lot more than you think you are. And what happens if you consume too much caffeine, think, think of your body's receptors to caffeine as like a shower drain, all right? If your shower drain is clogged, you have to have... I mean, it starts, it starts to not flow properly. Like your body, like you can't flush that excess water coming through very efficiently. So you have to like clean that shower drain every so often. You have to get the hair out of there. 
The same is true with your body's receptors to caffeine. If you have to continually add more caffeine in order to just feel any effect from it whatsoever, your receptors are basically clogged, for lack of a better you know, descriptive terminology here. The best way to unclog those caffeine receptors is to minimize, limit the intake of caffeine. Common sense, right? You probably don't want to just stop cold turkey because you're going to have some headaches, you're going to feel poor, you're just not going to feel optimal. What you can do, and what I've done in the past, and I've done this in the past and it's time that I do it again, is I'll titrate my caffeine down and I'll use something called L-theanine to kind of help bridge that gap. So L-theanine is a great way to get consistent energy without the crash and it pairs well with caffeine. It's actually in this pre-workout, I do believe. Um, maybe not. Yeah, so maybe not. I have something with L-theanine in it. I think I have a standalone L-theanine supplement. But if you do start cutting your caffeine intake back, pair that with L-theanine, and then gradually titrate that caffeine intake down. So right now I'm at about 3,000 milligrams. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to cut... What am I going to cut? I'm going to cut my caffeine pill. I'm going to I'm gonna do no, no Mio. So no Mio for me tomorrow. And then I'm probably only going to do one scoop of the pre-workout. So I'm not going to give up my coffee just yet. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to do it throughout the rest of the week. I'm going to cut my caffeine intake down. I'm going to have some L-theanine with it to kind of bridge the gap. And I'm going to give my body some time it needs away from that much caffeine. If I can go long, a long period of time without having more caffeine, all the better. It is not good to tax your adrenals like that. Caffeine is one of those things where if, you, if you're staying hydrated, you can kind of minimize and shunt the negative effects of it. But honestly, nobody needs 3,000 milligrams of caffeine every single day. It's just not good. Your body's going to be non-responsive to that caffeine at some point. It's really going to tax your adrenals. So do what you got to do. Minimize your caffeine intake. Count your caffeine intake. Establish a baseline. Titrate that stuff down. That's all I got to say. It's a quick little info martial video here. little blurb on caffeine. Hope you learned something. See you next time.